Hi, I'm Kelly Moore with TNE Distributing here in the Twin Cities of Minnesota. Introducing you today the full range of cast compact wheel loaders. Starting out with a small compact loader, which is a ride-on loader, 22 horsepower, small machine, an agility, a lot of work that can be done in tree work and many other jobs. Going a step up to what's called the 800 series. This one with a very nice cab enclosure on it. It's got a telescopic boom for high lift ability. Then you go up to the 30 series, a little larger machine yet, big wide flotation tires for work on a lot of areas, including turf. One step more is the 40XD, the Genesis model machine. More horsepower, more lifting height, very nice deluxe cab. And then we go to the granddaddy of all the cast wheel loaders, and that's right here, the Max O 57D. Large machine, 57 horsepower, will lift over 4,600 pounds. Very nice, large, comfortable cab. This is the full line of cast wheel loaders. And now we're going to take a look at each one. The model SSQ22, otherwise known with its name as the Worky Quad. This is a small mini skid loader that is compact, economical, easy to run, easy to work in backyards, wherever your jobs are to get around in small spaces with a small little wheel loader. At full height, you're at 82 inches. So if you're going and dumping on piles, maybe into a small truck or an ATV type vehicle, you've got the ability of dumping and loading pretty much where you want to. And then with that lifting ability, it's got a capacity of 772 pounds as a standard unit. So when you're lifting off the ground, you've got quite some heavy weight in front of the machine. Now this machine would actually do even more. It's got optional weight package on, which gives you even a little more boost on top of it as far as load capacity. It's powered by a Honda V-Twin 22 horsepower gas engine. The dimensions, pretty simple. It's a small machine, 41 inches of width with this style tire on. It is 60 inches in length, five foot, when you go to the front of the quick attach there. The 800 series wheel loaders. There's three models. The 820, 825, and 830. Our featured machine today to talk about will be the 830. Looking at all three models, the 820 will go about seven and a half miles an hour. It's got a Kubota 722 diesel, smaller block diesel, but it reaches 20 horsepower. Will lift about 1,540 pounds. The next size, the 25, you get into 7.5 mile an hour. Kubota 1105 engine at 25 horsepower and will lift about 1,873 pounds. And then into this, the 830D carbon, You've got a bigger block Kubota engine, which is known as the model 1305, still at 25 horsepower and having the highest amount of torque possible out of the Kubota engine, and it will lift 2,100 pounds. The telescopic boom is built into the system with a hydraulic cylinder that literally extends the boom all the way out, as much as 117 inches of height. So a terrific amount of lifting height for dumping into trucks, trailers, stacking material, whatever the case is, a lot of high lift for a fairly small compact wheel loader. On the very front end of the cab, rubber isolation. Dual on the front, two on the back, as I mentioned earlier. Just more comfort, quiet, reduces vibration to the operator in the cab. You've got hardline bulkhead fittings as part of all the front hydraulics here with the lift arm. Very neat, clean, well isolated with rubber mounting blocks as they have them here on the back side of the machine. With the boom in that up position, you can see the very front end of the lift mechanism, a very clean, well protected area. There's no exposed hoses or wiring or anything of that nature. It's all covered with metal and in very good position there to avoid any problems. Further into the machine itself, this is equipped with a very nice deluxe cab enclosure as you see it here. Big large door, tinted glass, good visibility for the operator all the way around. Big wide opening door for getting in and sliding in and, and having very good comfort. 
Nice big open instrument panel telling the operator what the, is going on in the engine at all times. And then your other main function is right here, your main joystick control. It's an 11 function control that is primarily for your lift and lower of the lift arm, as well as running two buttons for telescoping the boom out and bringing the boom back in. Very easy, very intuitive, nice functioning on this cast loader. The 30 series, as it's called, four different models of machines as produced by the cast group. They're all compact wheel loaders, but with a cab forward design. The operator in the seat of the cab is on the front section, so he's turning as the machine turns, has outstanding visibility, and following the front end and the load of the machine at all times. The 23T, as the smallest machine, the basic loader, is 25 horsepower. It'll lift about 1,780 pounds. The second unit, the one we're going to feature today, is the 28T. 25 horsepower Kubota engine, but technically a larger Kubota engine. That means it has more torque. This machine will lift about 1,780 pounds as you see it. Then we go into the 33 TLX in the carbon version. They both have 25 horsepower, a little bit bigger block engine, but have uh, respectively 2,095 and 20. 300 pounds of load capacity. The boom, as it's lifted, has the ability of stretching out to give forward reach, and the real ability is very high lifting. 117 inches, as a matter of fact, on being able to get to the highest point. The quick attach you see here, it's what's called the universal mini quick attach. It's very common on a lot of compact wheel loaders in the worldwide marketplace that would be in this category. The basic units are a open ROPS machine. But as you see here on this 28T that we're featuring, it's a deluxe cab enclosure. Tinted glass, nice big glass door on the left, glass window that's able to open over on the right-hand side. And just a lot of comfort for the operator Easy getting in, sliding in the side, comfort seat, this adjustable seat, multifunction. You've got all your amenities to be able to get after for the operator. Inside the seat of the 30 series loader, you got a lot of comfort and controls for operating the machine very simply. Your master control is right here. This is your 11 point joystick. All multi-position, all done with your thumb very easily on the machine. So for getting at maintenance, very quick, easy, in 30 seconds or less, covers open, top cover is moved to the side, quick maintenance access to everything you need to get at it right here. The model 40XD, which is of the Genesis series. This is a powerful loader, high lift capacity, but it is a unique loader that it not only articulates in its steering, but it has literally four wheel steering besides the articulated steering. So it has a very tight turning radius. It articulates in the steering. The operator is in the front section. It's a cab forward design. Of course, it's four wheel drive. It has Poclain hydraulic motor, some of the finest hydraulic motors in the world. It's powered by a Yanmar diesel, 38 horsepower. It's got very high end lift capacity of over 3,086 pounds when it has the optional counterweight package on the machine. It's a telescopic boom design in the full lift and extended ability. It's 130 inches of lift height, which is tremendous lift ability and lift height for this size of wheel loader. A lot of protection built in. Steel here, steel plate here, no exposed hoses inside or outside there, no hydraulic lines, no electrical lines of any sort. A lot of protection built in to this design of the 40XD wheel loader. I'm taking a good look at the cab enclosure here. A very deluxe, nice cab enclosure. Big open door, tinted glass for the heat of the summer to keep some of the heat down in the unit or so. Big opening of the door, nice grab handle here getting in, sliding on the inside, getting position, got very nice dual rear view mirrors, being able to see sides right to the back end of the machine for the comfort and safety of the operator. 
Very nice deluxe cloth, heated seat, switch control over on the right side, and this is your master control, your 11-point joystick. And then right up front and center, the main heart for the monitoring of the machine is customers looking and the customer operating the machine looking at the instrument panel. You got ability of toggling right through. This is the engine section that talks about the engine control for the emissions. Hit it once more. It's got various system data talking about the fuel level, oil level, and so on. The SCR data, which is part of the machine engine data, and then it brings you back to start to your tachometer, your fuel level, as well as water temperature control. Easy access as you've got these covers opened up here readily, all hinged, unsnapped, out of the way. You can get into the top end of the engine here, your cooler, your water separator, all accessible. The DPF system is really an automatic system, does not need servicing. The largest on the market from CAST, this is the Max O series wheel loader. There's two models, a 57S with a single speed drive and then a 57D in a two speed drive and that's what we're looking at here. 57 horsepower powered by a Kohler engine, turbocharged with a DOC type emission system. Never needs maintenance as opposed to a DPF type system. So a real high performance, high torque engine and a great wheel loader. It's a telescopic design wheel loader with a two-stage boom. The telescopic boom will get up as much as 130 inches of height. These style tires, the way you see it, this is a 31, 15, 50 by 15 tire. Very good traction tire, a lot of wide flotation the way you see it here. It's 15 and a half inches wide, so great for working in soft conditions, mud conditions and gives you a lot of traction and flotation just for the sheer nature of it. As far as specifications, you're talking a machine that's about 59 inches wide. It's about 124 inches of length and the radius in a very tight turn is under 10 foot at 119 inches. All steel here, steel plate. There's no electrics running. There's no hydraulics. There's no wiring of any sort. All very clean, all protected for the longevity and life of the machine. Nice glass cab on this one, equipped as a cab enclosure, as a deluxe cab with heat or with air conditioning forthcoming. Inside the cab here of the Maxo series loader, you've got your control functions. Aside from the steering wheel, run with your left hand, you've always got your right hand on the master control and that's your 11 function joystick. When you look to the instrument panel up front, that's the operator's real lifeblood on how the machine is operating. Your normal panel is how you see it there, and you got your RPM gauge, fuel level, coolant temperature at all times. One touch of the screen gives you system data of the fuel and oil level and so on. The SCR as part of the engine emission system comes up. Once more is more engine data, engine alarm, and then you go back to the first and your most common readout screen that the operator is going to refer to. So then we'll take a look at the way of maintenance and serviceability here. And you've got a very large cover over the top. You've got two pins that we've already removed on the front. We've got a quick snap right here. So what we'll do now is grab a hold and it takes two people to do it. But because of the bulkiness, it's not real heavy, but you just want to do it safely. Grab a hold, lift it up straight move all the way back, set it on down, and then you're able to continue going back to the machine and covering the service and maintenance. You've got this huge wide open area now for access for checking the machine. So the full range of cast wheel loaders can fit and do the job for you. For more information on this and all the cast model loaders, go to tnedistributing.com. Thanks for watching.